Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at getting started with Python inside uh, Visual Studio 2022. We will look at how we download and install all the workloads necessary for us to get started. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So for those of you that don't know, Python is a popular programming language that is reliable, flexible, easy to learn, free to use on all operating systems, and supported by both a strong developer community and many free libraries. Python supports all manners of development, including web applications, web services, desktop apps, scripting, and scientific computing, and is used by many universities, scientists, casual developers, and professional developers alike. So, Visual Studio is a powerful Python ID on Windows. ID being integrated development environment. So Visual Studio provides open source support for the Python language through the development environment and data science workloads, which we will look at later on. And also, the free Python tools for Visual Studio extensions for Visual Studio 2015 and later, or earlier, sorry. So, as you can see, I've actually got Visual Studio installer opened. So, to get us started, obviously, we have to come to the modify bit here. Click on the modify. So, here, as you can see, we can download and install the workloads necessary for us to get started. So, to get us started, obviously, if you look at it here, we've got Python development workloads. So, this is for editing, debugging, interactive development, and source control for Python. So, if we click here, so we should get this, uh, this sidebar here. So, this shows that we've actually selected the uh, Python development. So, this actually includes the uh, Python language support. And then this the optional um, optional packages that we can use our components so we can we can check the Python native de development tools um, Python web support which we check here and then um, actually it's not checking but we look at it later on and then the, here the um, other versions of Python that you can actually use I mean whether you use, you want to use the so whether you want to use the 32-bit or the 64-bit, you've got these options, yeah? And then um, you also have the, this comes with, a, with this, well, with this uh, workflow, with the cookie cutter, the support for cookie cutter template. So this actually installs the cookie cutter graphical UI to discover templates, input templates, options, and create projects and files. So the Python web support installs tools for web development, including HTML, CSS, and JavaScript editing support, yeah? So this will actually be added, yeah? So if we, if we check on this box here, as you can see, we add the Python web support, yeah? Then you can also add the Python native development. We're not gonna look too much into that. So what we do is we click on the modify, yeah? So this, will actually download and install all the workloads and packages that we've added. Yeah, so it might take a while, so I'm just going to pause the video while the whole thing works out. Okay, so now we've got the installation, I mean the download and installation completed. So what we do is we go ahead and launch the Visual Studio 2022. So here, obviously, we can go ahead and create a new project. So once we click on here, so as you can see, we've got the options as all languages. So we go ahead and click on the drop down here. So as you can see, yeah, we've got Python newly added to to our workload. So as you can see here now, we've got Python, but we don't have anything showing here. So it's actually not finding what you're looking for. So let's click here. OK, 
okay so I cannot start and okay so let me close the installer oh man we're just gonna I'm just gonna launch it again I'm just gonna pause it while I launch it okay so create a new project so as you can see we're just gonna click on here so we're just gonna go through it okay so from here uh, this one well, I've got this sel selected as mobile that's why there's nothing showing so we can go to our projects here then we should have the Python applications coming up now yeah so as you can see here now I have got a couple of Python applications that you can get started with here so you can get started with a Python application this is just a project for creating a command line application then the web app, app I mean a web project this is a project for creating a generic Python web project so this is a Django web project so we will look at all of these projects separately on a later videos here but obviously this is to get us started so I'm just trying to quickly explain what all of these are about if you if you don't know so here we've got the flask web web project the bottle web project so these are all for creating different type of um, Python web web projects yeah so to get us started what, what I'm gonna do is just gonna choose one of these web projects to get um, build it and let's see how they all come up in Visual Studio so I'm just going to select the, the web project here then um, click on the next here obviously you can configure your project details ie the project name the location and the solution name so you click on the create here so here it should take a, some few moments for the whole thing to, to load so basically this is just a basic web project to get to get us started and here obviously you can add a you can add an environment to your project right you can select uh, whatever pro if you've got multiple projects so yeah, whatever projects that you want to add the environment to then, then the name of the environment and then the base interpreter so you can select if you've got like multiple interpreters right so i'm just going to close this bit here i'm just going to try to run this and let's see what actually comes up yeah so the project cannot be launched because the startup file is not specified so basically we don't have any project like any startup project or any file here to run so you can you can change that by obviously you can add a, an already created project uh, we, can, we can just use the, the, the flask or whatnot but I'm just gonna leave it here so that we can tackle each template separately on a video yeah so as you can see we've got this created and but we're not gonna look so please if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure you do because i've got lots of videos coming up here and i hope you have a lovely morning afternoon evening peace